Eric here, welcome to the Perkins Builder Brothers channel. Uh, today we're gonna to be talking about mortar mitts, mud as we call it, and it can make or break your day if you mix it right or wrong. If you mix it too soft, all your blocks are gonna drop below your string line and you're gonna struggle keeping them up. If you mix it too hard, you're gonna have a hard time tapping it down enough to get to your string line. If you mix it just right, it'll be real easy. And this is the method that's worked pretty well for us for most things we do with block. All right, here's what we do. First, two five gallon buckets of sand. All right, next we're gonna do a bucket of water, but not completely full to start with, about four and a half gallons. We'll add a little extra if we need to later. All right, the one thing that's really gonna affect how much water you need to put in the mix is how wet your sand is. Sand can hold a ton of water if it's wet, so ideally it'll be completely dry, not like this. So try to keep it dry if you can, actually. But if it's wet, start with less water, quite a bit. Sand can hold a lot of water. All right, next, <laughs> one whole bag of Type S mortar. <laughs> ah! <laughs> next, two more buckets of sand, five gallon buckets. All right, we're gonna let that roll for five minutes and mix. And then you wanna check the consistency. You don't want it super loose like a cow patty, but you don't want it super hard like a brick of red clay. What you want is the consistency of light, fluffy mashed potatoes. So we'll add a little water or add a little mortar and sand to stiffen it or loosen it after five minutes, then we'll check it out. All right, I'm gonna check this stuff out. Give you a little bit, give it a little knock. That's too loose, too wet. So we're gonna add a little mortar, a little sand, and let it roll again for a minute. All right, that's looking pretty good there. You see, I can shake it and it doesn't just go flat immediately. Um, so it'll stick and hold, that's good. That's what we want right there. All right, here's a quick look at our mortar mixer that we purchased for $300 a couple years ago. And for $300, this thing has been amazing. It's a two bag mixer. That means it'll mix two whole 80 pound bags of mortar with the sand and water in one batch, which is a lot. We usually just do one bag at a time. That's enough for us. We're not super fast at laying block. Right here is our other mixer. It's a wheelbarrow and a hoe. This will get the job done. It'll do about a half a batch, half a bag, two buckets of sand, two gallons of water. All right, ideally your mud is mixed just like you want it every time, but sometimes it's not true. Uh, so if it's super thick, you can do just the rails. And that'll be enough to support the block. This isn't super thick, by the way. This is pretty thin mud. Uh, if it's a little thinner, what I do is uh, the ends, which would be there and there. And we'll fill that in. All right, and your block would go right here. All right, and if it's super, super thin, like way too thin, and you can't seem to get it stiff enough, you can add the center crossbar in there. And by doing all of that, I can usually get a block to stand up even with mud that's not really thick enough. If you do crossbar, 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 that really helps a lot if your mud's thin and you wanna go with it. Okay, the time when you might wanna start with your mud a little thin is on a really hot day. Uh, you will find that the mortar will get hard pretty quick in the heat. So you might start with it a little thinner than you want and over the period of 20 minutes or whatever, when you're using it, it will get to the consistency you want it and probably even past. 